My name is Dr. Kerry Tapuzian and you're watching the Ask Dr. T Show. Today's question is, what is phosphatidylcholine? I know that's a long word and so they have a abbreviation for it, it's PC. Well, phosphatidylcholine, it's a fat, a lipid. Um, phospholipids, and basically what it is, is it covers every cell in our body. So the outer layer of each cell in our body has this lipid or fat layer. And over time, what happens is these kind of get replaced with junkier fats depending on your diet, depending on when you're, where you live. And the thing is, after a while, so your cells can't work as well, they can't absorb nutrients as well, and they can't get rid of garbage as well. So the idea is to take phosphatidylcholine to help improve that going back and forth. Now, we're gonna show you how to do an IV phosphatidylcholine. So I didn't want you to watch me getting the IV put in right there because like I'm a big baby and you know I didn't <laughs> want to see you see me cry and all that kind of stuff so so as you can see we got a butterfly going on here and um, what Louis is doing is he has phosphatidylcholine here it's already pulled up in the syringe and this is called PK protocols and it's sort of like old school way of doing an, an IV if you will sometimes they'll take phosphatidylcholine they'll put it in an IV bag and they'll run it through but this way, apparently, it gets into your system a little bit better. It, you basically you pull blood into the tube to mix in with the phosphatidylcholine, um, and then the phosphatidylcholine, or PC, actually mixes in with your red blood cells, and then you get, apparently, better spread into your bloodstream. Um, I think that some of the uh, problems when putting it in an IV is that it might stick to the IV tubing and inside the IV bag. Um, and I think you also have to uh, shelter it from light because it's out there for a longer period of time. And plus, this is faster. This is like, what, how long is this going to be? Like five three, minutes? Three minutes. Three minutes to take to do this. We're about this time. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, I don't feel anything. It's good. <laughs> so, you know, phosphatidyl, I keep saying phosphatidylcholine. It also used to be called lipostabile, which was one of the old names for it. We used to buy it from Europe. So some of you out there might be familiar with that. PC, it's commonly known as to. It's also really good for brain function because your brain is made up of fat, right? And phosphatidylcholine is a, a lipid that makes up, you know, a lot of your brain. So it's also good for reducing cholesterol. It's like a chelating agent because it'll pull cholesterol out of your arteries. It's great for your liver if you're having any liver issues. It's really good for um, fatigue and brain function because it's a precursor. So it's what your body needs to make acetyl, uh, acetylcholine. I'm not saying it right. Acetylcholine or choline, which is a neurotransmitter that your um, that your brain is naturally making. So you're doing it slow so that. Because it's probably a good thing to do. It's probably a good thing not to just push it really quick. So any questions out there? Oh, you out there. Uh, oh, why does it have to be done IV? No, it doesn't have to be done IV. You can take it as a pill. And actually what I'll do is I'll put a link on the bottom of this uh, video where you can buy a really good um, phosphatidylcholine uh, product to take. Now, the thing is, you know, when you do something IV, it's a lot stronger, okay? So, but I do. I take it as, I take two gel caps of phosphatidylcholine a day. Um, and I do this probably, I don't know, you know, maybe once or twice a month. Um, how many times do you have to do it before you're going to notice an improvement? Usually you have to do um, somewhere around five to ten treatments. It all depends on how junked up your cells are in your body, you know? how many times you went to McDonald's in your lifetime, how many times you had, um, you ate sliders, had, you know, how, how bad your diet, you know, how, how healthy are you? That's gonna just depend. Um, side effects, you haven't really had any side effects. The only side effect that I can remember is I had a patient once tell me that after she had this done, she could see each individual snowflake on the evergreen that was outside the window. <laughs> so if you have any other questions, you can uh, email us at uh, drthelpdesk at gmail.com. I'll put that on the bottom too. 
And again, my name is Dr. Kerry Tafuzian, and you've been watching the Ask Dr. T Show. Take care.